Here, the question is: Given the following sample of pseudocode, which of the following test cases will ensure that statement zero six is executed? And then these options are provided. Now let's analyze the pseudocode to get the correct answer. First line is input number of male rabbits. Second line is input number of female rabbits. Both lines are statement, so we can represent it like this. Line three is if male rabbits are more than zero. And female rabbits are more than zero. This is a condition, so we can represent it like this. Line four is input. Do you want to breed? Yes or no. This is a statement. We can represent it like this on flowchart. Fifth line is if breed equals to no. This is a condition. But the question is where to place it. This is how we have to place it in the flowchart. If the condition becomes true, line number six, print, keep male and female rabbits apart, will be executed. This is a statement. We can represent it like this on flowchart. Line number seven and eight are end if. That means. Both the condition ends here. This is how we can represent it on the flowchart. Now the flowchart is ready. Let's solve the question using this flowchart. Question one is: Which of the following test cases will ensure that statement zero six is executed? Now we have to analyze all the options one by one to get the correct answer. Option one is male rabbit equals one, female rabbits equal one, breed equals yes. Condition one is true and condition two is false. Therefore, the line number six is not executed with this option. Option B is male rabbits equal one. Female rabbits equal one, breed equals no. Condition one is true, and condition two is true too. Therefore, the line number six is executed with this option. Therefore, option B is the answer for the provided question.